Things You've Been Doing Wrong, Part 2. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, back again with another video. Surprise, surprise, here we go again with another list of things we, humans, just cannot seem to get right. Here, we'll show you the right way, the easy way, to get some of the most basic things done, and trust us, you'll be happy that we did. From easy Oreo eating to making choosing clothes a whole lot simpler, you'll find all sorts of tricks here that will help you on the daily. Put your remembering cap on because you'll want to commit these to memory. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Opening pesky packaging. We all know the struggle. You go to a store, get what you need, then get to the car and can't open it. You get home and proceed to destroy your scissors and your hands trying to get into your purchase. If you had just grabbed a can opener right when you got home, you wouldn't be dealing with cuts and scrapes. Just use the can opener along the side of plastic packaging and then open it right up. Don't you wish you would have known this years ago? The ultimate grilled cheese. Do you know how hard it is to get a grilled cheese just right? We're sure you do, as most everyone has tried cooking one in their lifetime. But it's not as easy as it might sound or as they make it look at restaurants, right? There's always the one piece of bread that burns or the cheese that doesn't fully melt and you end up with a big mess in the pan. There is an easier way to make this delicious snack. Turn your toaster sideways. Pop a piece of bread into each side with cheese on both pieces facing up, obviously, and you're off to the races. Fold the bread together, cheese side in, and when they're done, voila! Cutting the cheese. All jokes aside, you know that soft cheeses are hard to cut, so why not go the easy route and use dental floss? Cut a piece of floss to your desired length and place it on whichever side of the cheese you see fit. Then pull or push it through the cheese to the other side for the perfect slice that will leave your guests or spouse impressed. Just make sure that you buy unflavored dental floss, otherwise you'll end up with minty cheese, which no one wants to experience cutting your cake. This is just an extra little tidbit, but since we're on the topic of dental floss cutting food, we thought we'd share. You can also use your unflavored dental floss to cut through other soft foods, like cake. Just imagine what your friends will think when you deliver a perfectly sliced, squared off piece of birthday cake. You'll be the hero of the party and all you need is some floss to achieve it chilling your drinks. Have you ever run into the situation where you want a cold drink, but you realize you didn't refrigerate it? We're talking about drinks you probably wouldn't want to put ice in to achieve your perfect level of chill, like beer or orange juice. All you need to do is wet a paper towel, wrap it around the bottle or glass that your delicious drink is in, and stick it in the freezer for just five to 10 minutes. Take it out and enjoy your ice cube free drink that's chilled to perfection. However, do not forget it in the freezer. Otherwise, you could have a big problem when you do remember it. Putting a key on a keychain. Have you ever broken nails trying to get a key ring pulled apart enough to work a key onto it? I have. What about chipped a tooth? <laughs> Maybe. Or perhaps you've nearly had a panic attack trying to find something to wedge into the ring long enough for you to get a key on. Well, now you can move forward and leave all of that behind. All you'll be needing from here on out is a staple remover. We know. It sounds too simple, right? It is. Very simple, that is. Just clamp the teeth down between the side-by-side -side rings to hold them apart. Slip your key on and then go inside and get your chilled soda or beer out of the fridge. Finding a plate for takeout. As long as you're ordering takeout Chinese food, this should be a pretty easy task. Have you ever wondered why Chinese takeout comes in those little boxes that are often nearly overflowing with food? It's because those boxes are origami to perfection and when unfolded, they work as the perfect plate for you and whoever else you're eating with. No more struggling to find something to eat on. You got food from a restaurant and not your house for a reason and maybe you just don't have plates. Now you won't have any trouble finding a plate ever again as long as you order, you know, only. Chinese takeout. Cleaning a dirty blender. You know that the worst part of making a smoothie or anything else you make in a blender is cleaning it after you're done with it. Well, that's where this excellent hack comes in and it will take a lot of time and energy off your hands. All you have to do is pour in some warm or hot water after using it, add some dish soap and blend. It's up to you how long you blend it, but the goal is for it to blend clean. After that, rinse it out, set it out to dry and you're all done, easy stuff getting your aluminum foil. Have you ever had a problem fighting a roll of aluminum foil that just does not want to stay inside the box as you're trying to get a piece of it? Well, you may have been ignoring one essential part of prepping the box for use. Take a look at any box of aluminum foil. Now, look at the side of the box and notice the area where it says press ends to lock roll. Yeah. Now, feel a little dumb for never seeing that specific feature on the box and go press them in on your existing boxes. Tin foil. It's not as hard as it looks. 
heating multiple things at once. It sounds hard. It looks hard. How is it done? When you think about a microwave, you probably think about the limited space that you have to work with. How does one fit multiple bowls or plates or other dishes in there at one time? Well, if you don't want to use your stove or oven, you have to adapt and get creative. Just take a coffee mug or glass, turn it upside down, and set one of your dishes on top of it. That way you have a dish on the bottom of the microwave and one near the top, and they don't even have to come into contact with each other. Easy. And you're able to get more of your food heated at once. Eating Oreos. We sure do wish that this hack would work for every kind of cookie. Oreos are one of the few that built their cookies seemingly to be able to easily eat them with milk, and this hack could make things a lot easier for so many of us. It's always been a pain dunking cookies in milk, and once you have only a small amount of milk left, it becomes darn near impossible. So what do you do? You eat your Oreos and milk the correct way so that you don't ever have to run into any problems. All you need to do is stick a fork's tines into the cream of the cookie, and you've got an Oreo on a stick that's not going anywhere. Well, besides your milk, of course. Try it out now. Thank us later. Throwing food away. Seriously, you wouldn't think there would be a wrong way to throw food away, but there is. If you happen to have any old newspaper or any type of used paper that you don't really need anymore, lay it down in the bottom of your trash can to absorb any food juices that may leak to the bottom of your trash bag. This sure beats having it sit at the bottom of the bag and chancing it leaking or somehow breaking open entirely and spilling everywhere. Simple. Do it. It'll change your life making pancakes. Everyone knows how hard it is to make perfect pancakes or to make a stack of them semi-uniform at least. One easy way to maximize the uniformity of your flapjacks and to minimize your struggle is to put your batter inside a ketchup or any other squeeze bottle. Just make sure that you clean out the container you decide to use really well. Nobody wants to be having sriracha pancakes bright and early. You'll see much better looking cakes and you won't have to worry about getting batter all over the place using ketchup at restaurants. While we're on the subject of ketchup bottles, we figured we'd bring up another type of condiment holder. We're talking about those little paper cups that you can get at any fast food restaurant to hold any of your condiments, although let's be honest, everyone uses it for ketchup. Did you know that those are designed so that they can expand and get larger? That means you can either A, put more condiment in it, or B, not get so precarious with your condiment pouring. Just unfold the cup a little bit and watch how much more room you suddenly have. Painting. This is the perfect trick to help keep paint from getting all over the sides of the paint can and from possibly running onto your floors. What you're going to need here is a rubber band, your paintbrush, and your paint can. That's it. Now stretch the rubber band around the paint can from top to bottom and center it. Then when you're painting, you can easily drag the brush against the rubber band to get rid of any excess paint and keep your can clean. So easy putting away clothes. You probably didn't know you could put clothes away the wrong way, right? Well, there is no wrong or right way, just an easy way and hard way. If you don't want to have to pull out all of your shirts from the drawer to find the one you're looking for, consider stacking them vertically in the drawer rather than horizontally. This way, you'll be able to see all of your clothes at once and have access to the ones you want instantly without messing up the others. Easy and awesome. Wow, we really make a lot of things harder than they need to be. We still have one more to go, but first we'd like to ask you, what awesome hacks have you found that make your life easier? Leave your answers in the comments below so we can see if you've got anything good for a future video. One, making lemonade. Making lemonade isn't as simple as it sounds. You think you just squeeze lemons until they're juiced, right? Well, that's basically it, but the squeezing isn't typically all that easy. The peel moves around in your hand. Parts of the lemon get juiced and others don't. You make a mess of your hands, sleeve, counters, the list goes on. Now consider using a pair of tongs to squeeze your lemon. You'll save yourself a whole lot of hassle. Get a perfectly squeezed lemon and not have near the mess you had before. Just stick your lemon half in between the tongs and squeeze. Presto, lemonade. 